Okay, what I thought I'd do for this video is that I'd go over some of the camera equipment that I use to film these vlogs. And this isn't just a YouTuber thing to say to promote something. I have actually had a few people ask me what kind of camera equipment I use and I thought that I'd actually show it because it might be interesting, it might be helpful to other people and at the same time I said I'd do Vlogmas and I, I'll do a video every single day. So this is me trying to make an effort, okay? So first of all, one thing that I've started to use a lot recently is the little GoPro. This is a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition and I'll use this in quite a lot of my vlogs when we go out places um, and you'll see it in a lot of footage uh, and a lot of videos that I make now. So when you see us in the car and you can see the big um, wide angle and we're talking to the camera, uh, this is what's actually being used and what happens is that you just flip it upside down and just up above the rear vision mirror there's a little uh, attachment and it just sits up there and we can talk to it and everybody can be in the shot. Another accessory is this is the Rode Video Micro. I got this for I think 110 bucks from Photo Warehouse here in Wellington. But this is quite handy because the, uh, the quality of the GoPro microphone isn't the best and especially in Wellington the wind's ridiculous and you won't be able to hear anything if I speak to it. So this is the microphone here and it's got a little windsock, this is called a dead cat. So it just slips over there and that's what muffles all the noise uh, from the wind. Now the other thing that I have here is a video light. Uh, now I'll show you the contraption next, this is just a little video light. Um, I think I got this for 150 bucks and it has a rechargeable battery that just fits on the back and it can take other ones. But this is actually really good just for um, I don't use it a lot at night because it leaves a really weird looking round light which I don't quite understand even with these barn doors off but it's got the filters there just so everything looks a bit more natural when you're filming and people's faces don't look stupidly pale like mine did in the last video. Now what I, what I attach that to, so this is basically the whole GoPro setup. So what I attach this to, I've got a little photo bracket here which um, is good for DSLRs. So basically you attach your DSLR down here and you can put a flash up there. You'll see people like, uh, you'll see like paparazzi use this kind of stuff all the time. But what I've done is I've sort of modified this a little bit. This is the original bracket along here and I've attached another plate down here so I can attach more things to it. And this is what everything, so the light sits here, the GoPro sits here and the microphone sits here. I'll show you how that works. So this is what the whole setup looks like when it's all together. So you've got the GoPro there in the middle microphone up here and this is the light. I don't actually use the light a lot because I don't film at night. One uh, Another really important accessory that you can get for the microphone is this little cable here. This just is this is just a little 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that connects to your GoPro so that's the only way that you can actually plug this microphone into the GoPro. So when I'm filming with the GoPro I hold it like that and if I need to be able to see something I just turn the Wi-Fi on. I can hold my phone just at the back here um, so I can see what I'm filming. Another little really cool accessory that I just got um, today actually is this guy here. Now this is like a little, this is a, uh, sort of a cheaper version, this was 75 bucks and this is just a little egg timer basically. So I'll put some footage in right here. So this is basically what it does, I set the GoPro on the top here and then twist it and it just basically times, you can hear it ticking away. And what it's going to do for a time lapse is it's going to start from basically here and then pan all the way around. But it's quite cool. I spent a couple of hours out in the city this afternoon getting some uh, pretty cool time lapses with this. And also on the bottom here it's got the threading so you can attach it to a tripod if you want. And if you don't want to use the GoPro mount and you've got another camera, you've got another little mount up the top so I can attach uh, this camera that I'm using to it. Uh, another thing that I just got recently is uh, iPhone. This is the new iPhone 6S. Now, the new iPhone 6S has 4K video and just using it, um, I used it in the last vlog when Charlie was jumping off the wharf. I was actually really bloody impressed by the quality of it. The only bad thing is that this is the normal 6S. The 6S Plus is the one that has image stabilization which would have been a lot better. But I'm not going to use this all the time. Another really handy thing that I got is this guy here. 
Now this is a Rode TRS to TRSS adapter. So basically what that allows me to do is that now I can, since this phone has 4K on it, what I can do is I can plug this in here. So it's a little adapter, so I can plug this into here and then when I want good sound and I don't want to take the whole GoPro rig out with this microphone, what this little thing allows me to do is that I can plug this into there and now I can use this as an external mic. Now this is just the front camera on the iPhone 6S, but I've got the little microphone attachment here. So hopefully you can tell that the sound through this microphone is way better than just through the phone. Now the last camera I have is this guy here that I'm using. Now this here is the Canon G7X. I saw a lot of YouTubers have this, including like Casey Neistat and a fun for all you people that I mentioned in the other vlogs. Now when I bought this camera, it was six or seven months ago, um, just before I left for Germany. And it cost me about $1,000, but I know if you go on some websites now, you can find it for six or seven, I'm not too sure. And Canon sometimes, if you can time it right, Canon does a promotion where you can get a cashback. And I think for this one here, you can get $100 cashback if you um, buy this camera. So if you're gonna buy it, you should try and time it. Uh, it's the same with lots of DSLRs too. Uh, when I bought all my DSLR equipment, uh, this time last year, I think I got 500 bucks back. So definitely keep an eye out for that. So hopefully that video has been quite helpful if you want to know what kind of gear is really good to use um, obviously like a lot of the stuff that i have is not necessary and costs a lot but i've had a couple of people ask me what kind of gear i use so this is my way of answering it's going to give me content i've done two days in a row of vlogmas now which i'm really happy about even though i missed a week but yeah, things happen whatever cool. so yeah as i said hopefully this video has been really helpful and thanks for watching Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.